I found these wood hanging decor fences from Dollar Tree and I have two of them. They measure approximately six by six inches and I'm just going to tape the jute hanger behind them. And using some Wise Owl Snow Owl, I'm gonna give them a good coat of the white paint. Then I'll set those aside to dry. Next I found this wood bicycle from Hobby Lobby. It was 99 cents and it was with all their wood cutouts. They have a bunch of small wood cutouts. And I'm going to paint most of the frame of the bike with some Wise Owl Higgins Lake. And then I'm going to take the metallic paint in silver. This is also from Wise Owl. It's one of their heavy metals metallic gilding paint. And I'm going to paint the spindles on the tires with the metallic silver. I love how this heavy metals paint covers. It's nice and thick. It covers great. That was just with one coat. And then I'm going to allow that to fully dry. Now these paint colors can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. We have a bundle pack as well. I'm going to take the Wise Owl Black and I'm going to paint the seat, the handlebars, and the basket of the bike. Now you can pick any colors of your choice. I think the brown would also look nice in place of the black. And then I'll go around where you would see the tire and I will make that black as well. And this is what we have so far. I'm not gonna to put too much more detail into the bike, but I'm going to set that aside to allow that to dry. I have this small little chalkboard. I'm gonna remove the jute hanger from it, and I'm going to paint where the white is with the Wise Owl Higgins Lake. Now this had almost like a shiny finish on it, so I gave two good coats of the Higgins Lake. The first coat did not cover that well, but when I let that dry, I applied a second coat and there was much better coverage. And I'll let that fully dry. I have these small little wood letters. I get mine from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue them down on the bottom of the chalkboard and it says hello. And then I have this small little butterfly sticker that I'm going to glue in the top left corner. I have a thinner jute that I'm going to place back into the holes that are in the top of the chalkboard and I'm just tying a knot on the back end and cutting any extra jute off. I'm gonna use my hot glue and I'm gonna glue the two fences together once the paint has dried. And then on the back side, I'm gonna add a small little popsicle stick that I cut just for extra strength. And I decided to just cut these jute hangers off. I did get some paint on them, so you could do that in the beginning as well. I'm gonna hang the little hello sign from the picket fence and I'll glue that in place just so it doesn't swing around. And then I'll place the bicycle on the bottom right side of the fence. I have these artificial floral picks and I'm just gonna add a couple little flowers coming out of the basket of the bike and I'll hold those down with the hot glue. And then to finish it off, I'm going to re-add a jute hanger. I'll make it a little smaller so you can't see it. And I just have a handheld stapler that I will use to staple the jute down in place. Now I would staple so that you have one of the picket fence in front so you don't put the staple through your project. And there we go. Now we just have this very easy hello bicycle sign. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.